Holy salute, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Lord spoke to me about this a few weeks back. I can remember he said that he was going to take a great portion of elders away from the body of believers. And uh, I can understand why somebody would say, well, that's not really a prophecy because, you know, People go away all the time, people. But it's a bulk of people what he's doing and what he's trying to explain is he's taking uh, the latter house to form the new house. In other words, the latter house that came before the one that's coming has to be built by the saints of old they're the foundation and then the new is going to come and that house together with the elders and the youth will make a great great glory uh, a greater glory as it says in Haggai second chapter verse 9 so and he's taken more than the usual I can remember when he took David Wilkerson, it was just him, and then it was uh, another, um, uh, Billy Graham, it was just Billy Graham, uh, actually, uh, but a long story short, there was, there was one or two right in there in that time period, but now you hear of all kinds of ministers, all kinds of preachers, and the Lord is calling them home. And there's a reason for it. It's because they've served their purpose. Their time is to go home and rest now. And God is raising up a youth, a, a youth camp, uh, pouring out a spirit on the sons and daughters, the young ones. And he's going to raise them up for his glory. So when the spirit goes back to the father, he don't just keep it. He pours it back out into the world. And so it's like a double portion. As he's pouring it out from heaven, he's calling the ones home and he's pouring it back out. I hope this, I hope this uh, brings understanding to what the Lord's plan is, as he's told me. In the latter days, he will pour out his spirit. And he says, it's time to stop riding coattails. But we got to be our own people and our own ministers. And we got to serve God on our own. Answer the calling. Because he's calling you. God bless you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, time is winding down. It's running out. Uh, the Bible says we all one day will have to answer for every idle word. We will leave this world one way or another. And when we stand before him, we want to make sure we're, we got the blood of Jesus over our heart. And if we don't, and we need to get it. And if we got it, we need to keep it and endure to the end. Amen. God bless you. And God loves you. There's no doubt about it. God loves you. Strength. Pray for the ones who are we're having battles right now. I pray for the ones in riots right now. I pray for the ones in the middle of a storm right now. I pray for the ones that have lost loved ones due to coronavirus or a mob beating or any other thing. Prayers, prayers, in Jesus' name. God bless you, my friends. 
one thing about it. I didn't know much about Ravi, Ravi Zacharias. But if he was what people say he is, he's not hurting or crying or missing this world one iota. Especially what's going on right now. Amen. There's a better place. A land flowing with milk and honey. Streets of gold. Walls of jasper and gates of pearl. But there's something even greater than that waiting. A land flowing with milk and honey. The Lord himself is there. And all the saints of the Bible. Even the ones like the ministers that we see, that we admire and we honor. And we can be there too. If we stay faithful, we will make it. Amen.